who doesn't love a little mobile workstation? And in this video, I wanna talk about how I'm keeping everything powered for my 16 inch MacBook Pro, camera chargers, phones, all from a battery pack that still fits in a backpack. So one of the biggest reasons that I'm excited for this is because I have a lot of battery banks that are small and have decent capacities, but they don't do a whole lot in terms of helping out with a shoot. And then I also have giant batteries, but they really just kind of sit in a car or you need to like lug to a certain spot for like an all day shoot. When we open it up, it's got a little bit of room on top with a sleeve for a USB-C cable, 240, this is a 240 watt cable. And then we have the unit itself. And then we have the unit itself. In terms of buttons and ports, we got a on off switch, we have a DC in, our main USB-C one, which is our in and out for charging the device itself. A second USB-C, USB type A. We got a light bar, another power button for that. Looks like a ventilation. Two fully three pronged AC ports on the back, on off switch for that. And another ventilation on this side here. Turned on, we just press and hold the power. And right now we can see that it is fully charged. The light on the side, again, we can just press and hold. And if we press the button on the back, it lights up and we can see uh, 60 Hertz. It does have an app as well, which you can see here if we open that up. So once we've connected to it here, I can plug it in. Let's say I gotta charge up my Pixel 6 Pro here. We can see it start to pull power there and we're getting the same read on the phone screen here. And so it's nice because you can see your remaining time on the phone. Again, you don't always have to go up to the device if you're worried about things dying or making sure uh, things are getting charged. If you go into this little like heart rate monitor icon in the middle, you can see the voltage per port. So I can change this to USB type C one where I'm currently plugged in. And it will basically give me a live reading of that port uh, in real time, which is really cool to realize I didn't turn my lights on. There we go, much better. If you go into the settings, you can adjust a couple things in here. Like you can remotely turn on and off the AC switches on the back. And as I mentioned, you can also adjust the light on the side. So if I turn this on here, we get a couple options for solid, strong flash. And for solid, it does give you the ability to adjust the brightness. You can only do that in the app. Uh, I don't believe you can do it on the unit itself. So I can just slide this down if you want to conserve a lot of battery, but still get a little bit of light because maybe at night in pitch black, this is enough for you. So you can go down to 10% or of course you can raise it all the way up. I also want to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit because America. And so that's basically it for the app. It's simple, but useful. Future me here and I've been testing this battery bank out for the past month and here are my actual thoughts. While I fully understand talking about battery banks is not the sexiest topic in the world, I do think it is one of the most important considering all of our devices need a charging. And I am constantly trying to find the best balance of portability and recharge capacity. So the basis charger has definitely been the one battery bank that I've actually gone to while not even thinking about it when I have to leave the house and I know I'm going to need uh, some sort of recharging. A lot of times I'll take my kids to like a McDonald's play place and get work done. And a lot of times you go to these places, usually there are outlets somewhere, but sometimes you don't get the seat there. Or... And if I'm doing intense video editing on my 16 inch MacBook Pro, that thing's gonna need charging after about an hour or two. And so originally I was like, cool, I can get 140 watts out of the brick uh, plugging into the AC ports, but I don't even need to do that. If I'm just plugging in one cable to the main USB-C one port, I can get the full 140 watts output ability straight from the battery without needing the Apple 140 watt brick. So currently my MacBook Pro is actually dead. And so if I plug that in right here, turn it on, you can see I have 57% because I do freaking use this thing. Plug that in there, 92, 113, 130. It usually fluctuates between 120 and 140 output capacity. And look at that, my computer's alive again. It's nice and quiet, listen. But the other way I found that I've actually really liked it is utilizing a carrying case. I think for like event filmmakers, this could be a game changer, especially my black magic friends. So while this may seem silly to some, if you are a gimbal operator or you have your camera, 
I highly suggest taking the standard strap that it comes with, clamp on this bad boy right here. Now I would use a different USB-C cable, grab yourself your favorite gimbal of choice. And now you could have both your gimbal and your camera plugged in. So for the past month, the Basis Portable Charger has been a great resource for a lot of extra battery power when I need it out and about while not adding a lot of weight or bulk to having move around. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.